Hello, this is Needlepointers.com and I'd like to show you how to make an apron for an American Girl doll or an 18 inch doll. This apron is reversible. The first thing that you're going to have to do is to make a pattern. What you need is a piece of paper that is four and one quarter inch by eight and a half inches. The next thing you need to do is you're going to mark along the top two inches and then along the bottom or the side I'm sorry along the side you're going to mark down three inches and put a mark then gently connect those lines with a curve like this and I hope you can see it on this side, I put a little thing that says place on fold with arrows. And we will be cutting two of these. I've already cut the material, so I want to just show you though what you would be doing. Your material would be folded like so when you do it. And you would have placed your pattern on there like that and then cut it out. And when you do that, then you have the one side of the apron, and I cut two of them. So you have two pieces of fabric. They can be the same color, or they can be different colors. Uh, you're also going to need some uh, apron ties, and I used ribbon. You'll need four pieces that are 12 inches long, and the width of them should be about 3 eighths to five eighths inches. Now, after you've done that and you have your pieces, put the one piece on your table, right side up. We're going to put one ribbon on the top and we want it about three-eighths of an inch in from the edge. Do the same thing on the other side. And pin in place. Now we're going to, right where the armhole ends, you're going to, we're going to do the same three, thing. Three eighths of an inch and pin. Now you want to gather up these ties so that they're in the middle because you don't want to sew the other ends together. And I'm going to just pin them right in the middle so that they don't move. The next step, take your other piece of material and we're putting right sides together and pin it in place. And our next step is going to be that we're going to sew, but we're going to sew all the way around using a quarter of an inch seam allowance, except we're going to leave an opening here at the bottom so that we can turn it. And you want it to be, oh, let's say, 
approximately maybe three inch opening at the bottom. Okay, we're going to go to the sewing machine and I'll show you how to sew it. Okay, I'm going to start to stitch. I'm not going to stitch over the pins. And I'm going to also back tack a little. And as I said, I'm using a quarter of an inch seam allowance. Now if you have the needle down feature, that would be good to use on your machine. If you don't, then if you put the needle down, when you get to the corner, see the needle's down, it's easy to turn. Okay, don't forget to leave the opening at the bottom. Okay, we're going to clip the corners just a little bit, like this. Okay, and now we're going to turn it and we're going to press it. So I'll go over to the ironing board and I'll show you how to turn it and press it. Okay, I'm ready to turn it. I'm using my little, little stick to get the corners out. Pull these. Now, when you're down here where the opening is, you want to make sure when you're pressing that you press it uh, so that you, when you set, we're going to be top stitching it. So when you top stitch, you're going to be top stitching that closed. I'll tell you a little secret I've always found that. Pressing is a very important part when you're making any garment or when you're making projects because it does make it lay flat and look nicer. Okay, the next step is to top stitch about an eighth of an inch all the way around the whole apron. So I'm going to do that and then I'll come back and I'll show you how the finished apron. Okay, as you can see that I did stitch around the outside and where the bottom was open it's now closed. Uh, it is reversible. If you want to add some trim to it like I did in the other um, for the other apron you can and uh, the apron is finished. If you like this video please like it, comment, and share it. Also subscribe to our YouTube channel for more doll crafts visit our website needlepointers.com and also don't forget to come back to our YouTube channel here because we will be having more doll projects in the future thank you for watching